in the beginning not chaos but the information of the universe is already here next to you these three elements coexist that is chaos gaia and eros love does not give birth but encourages and facilitates birth and creation and from chaos Erebus and night were born while their children were ether and day we're talking about uh, Greek mythology here. Chaos was born in the beginning and then Gaia appeared, eternal and safe place of the immortals, who rule the snowy peaks of Olympus and the dark Tartars in the depths of Gaia with the wide roads. And then comes Eros, love, who is the most beautiful among the immortal gods, where he unties the members of all gods and humans and tames our hearts, but also our minds. And from chaos, we know that Erebus and the black night were still created and from night and ether and day were born which gave birth to them by the mixing with friendship with erebus so the ether and the day were created by the attraction and friendship of the night and erebus so the concepts of friendliness are important for understanding the process of evolution empedocles interprets the movements of the spheres that is the what we have in the planets in our skies the universe has the effect of two opposing forces friendship and nikios which cause changes and removals in the universe so each of us is a form of the universe it is a form shadow i wish where our five senses understood only the shadow of which is called man we do not fully understand the whole of what man is that is what unites with the whole universe we do not perceive with our senses exactly its universal form, but we only perceive our projection in this false construction or cocoon, the so-called Euclid, which we artificially make our senses. So think for a moment that I is outside of you in your opinion, but universally pay attention. I am inside you and you, you are inside me. So we both identify. And if we both identify with each other, we identify with everything because the inside of one form is the outside of another form while the more you go out you think you are conquering the universe the more you are limited inwards to tell the truth it is an inability many times to fully understand everything we read from both from what I write the writer says here and from any scientific book in general there is our fear of seeking and colliding with the established which presents us with some truths from the beginning, and we accept them without research. Truths, quote unquote. It takes courage and boldness to articulate our scientific point of view without fear of losing our place and to overcome any of our human fears. It takes a full understanding of the truth, quote unquote, of everything I write for so long, because if you really feel the identification with the universe, then you understand that everything is finally changing both theologically and socially. He's obviously talking about universal consciousness here. He said, we know now that we live in a matrix world and that there is no meaning to matter where it is our mental construction and is perhaps the price of our fall and the smallness of our senses. And it's an inability to feel within us the sixth sense which we have lost and which we must at some point regain in order to find our unity with the universe. So everything is energy. Energy is the material of the universe that is neither Euclidean nor three-dimensional. It is out of our senses. It is the so-called chaos, Erebus. So the material from which all the secondary events originate and is all that creates us and which we call virtual reality and is beyond the reach of our senses. Once it was called chaos, but today, today new physics calls it pseudo-empty. The space is full of pseudo-void, where if it moves a little, and if there is a small variation, then a world is born and not a universe. Universe is all the worlds together and exist as we know uh, the infinites, but to the infinites. But these worlds in, is an abstraction because the universe is one, and we cannot divide it into worlds or micro-universes either. The phenomenon of information transmission has not taken place in Euclidean space and three-dimensional space, 
where there can be no greater speed than light. So if we consider the so-called Big Bang once happened, the most of the photons of the correlated are correlated in their genesis. This means that the photons in Sirius were once correlated with the photons in your mind. So we do not need to go there to find out any information because information has been transmitted through the associated photons and is in our mind. This has been proven by quantum uh, physics, by the way. Now, uh, and although we now know that more than two trillion galaxies are contained in the universe, you are so prepare yourself in such a way to understand any information. The information of the universe is already here next to you. And in fact, it has arrived at very high speed and multiple speeds from the speed of light. And it is your photon of activity. Your, uh, your uh, creation of activity, activation. This is happening through the quantum wells. So these wells now have water and it's time to go and fill the pitcher. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.